All right, here are example questions for parallel lines and transversals. Example A asks us to find little letter A, which is this segment here from this point right here to this point right here. We know that because these lines are parallel, they're marked so with these little diagonals here. And because these other lines cross them, they're transversals, that the segments in between are proportional. So we know that A is proportional to 9 the way that 20 is to 15, and that 9 compares to 15 the way that A compares to 20. So let's actually set it up that way. Let's say 9 is to 15 the way A is to 20. And the 9 and 15, that reduces, uh, divides by 3 it looks like, so that would be 3 to 5 and A to 20. It makes our math a little easier. Then we can just cross multiply. 5 times A is 5A, and 3 times 20 is 60. So we divide both sides by 5, and we get A, oops, little letter A, equals 12. So we have a 12 right here. And we can see, of course, that if we divide things by 12, 4, 8, 12, this is 3 fours. Ooh, that may not work. And this is four fours? No, this is five fours. That does work. Oh, good. <laughs> this is three fours, three times four. And this is five fours, five times four. Whereas this one is three threes, three times three, and five threes, five times three. So three to five and three to five. Yeah? All right, let's move on. Example B. Example B says we need to find little letter B little letter b right here, that's the segment from this point to this point. So we can say that 12 compares to 9.6 the way b compares to 24. We'll do our ratio the other way this time. So 12 compares to 9.6, a little weird to use a decimal in a fraction, but it doesn't hurt anything, the way that b compares to 24. So then we need to cross multiply. And we get 12 times 24, which is 288. And we get 9.6 times b, which is 9.6b. Pretty straightforward. And then we just divide both sides by 9.6. Get rid of that 9.6 there with the b. Think, think, cancel. 288 divided by 9.6 is huh, 30. 30 even equals b. So that means this segment right here must be 30 units. Cool. All right. And example C. Example C says, find the value of x that makes the lines parallel. So this is kind of the other way around, right? If we know that the segments are in proportion, then the lines are parallel. If we know the lines are parallel, then the segments are in proportion. So in this case, what we need to do is figure out how to make the segments in proportion. So let me move that little section over and give myself a little more room. I should have bumped it to the left to start with, but let's do that here. Give ourselves a little more writing room. There we go. Okay, so we know then that 5 should compare to 8 in the way that 3.75 compares to 2x minus 4, assuming these are parallel. So we'll write that out. We'll say 5 over 8 needs to be the same thing as 3.75 over 2x minus 4. Yeah, so then we can cross multiply. We get 5 times 2x minus 4, which means we need to do 5 times 2x and then 5 times negative 4. So 5 times 2x is 10x, and 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And that will be equal to 8 times 3.75, which would be 30. Then we can add 20 to both sides. This will cancel. We'll get 10x equals 50. Oh, now we're talking. We divide both sides by 10. Think, think. Think, think. 5 over 1. So x must be 5 in order to make those parallel. And if x is 5, then this segment down here is 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 4 is 6, which is reasonable. If 5 compares to 8, 3.75, or a little less than 4, compares to 6. And that would make all of these lines here parallel with each other. And we're done.